five of VBS. Can't believe we made it to Friday already. We are on the Rocky Railway and we've been talking about trains this week. Trains are good to take a short trip or a long trip. So think for a minute about what's the longest trip you've ever been on. I've been on lots of trips, but the longest train trip I ever went on was from going from here in Illinois all the way out to Seattle, Washington. We spent two nights sleeping on the train, plus two days and almost into the third night. It was a really, really long trip. Do you have any good train trip stories or long trips, Alicia? Well, I don't think I've been on a long train trip, but I've been on some long car rides, and I've also been on an airplane that flew over the ocean to England, and we got to sleep on that plane for eight hours too. So that was a long trip. Maybe you've gone on a really long car ride. Those can get, they can get really long and be really boring sometimes. So talk with your family about a time that you went on a long trip and hopefully you had fun. And we are going to listen to our song, Your Power Will Pull Us Through. Let's everybody sing along. Trust in you, Jesus, you're all, you're all, you're all that we need. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you, we're trusting in you. You give us hope and life that's forever. You make us bold and we stand together. journey there's no looking back with Jesus to lead us we're on the right track oh, 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 oh. wide open spaces for wide open eyes we're looking ahead for the next big surprise oh, oh, oh. Jesus is 
Jesus' power helps us to be good friends. Trust, Trust Jesus. Jesus. And our Bible verse comes from John chapter 15, verse 12. Love each other in the same way I have loved you. God wants us to love each other so much, just like he loves us all the time. And his power helps us to be good friends. Trust, trust Jesus. Jesus. We're gonna go to a song now called He Can Trust, We Can Trust Him. <laughs> I heard everyone was steaming ahead with the last day of Rocky Railway. Glad you're here. I'm Lawrence Elk. Not a moose, not a ram, but an excellent elk. Male elks are called bulls, and me and my bull buddies like to hang out way up in the Rocky Mountains. In the winter, we move down where we can find grass. But in the spring and summer, we head for the hills. It's important that we stick together with the herd. Some elk herds are as big as 400 friends. Although my antlers are big and strong, female elk or babies don't have these. And a hungry bear is hard to fight off. Speaking of these amazing antlers, they are pretty incredible if I do say so myself. Sometimes they come in handy when other herds get too close to mine. Or I need to show another bull that I'm in charge. Yeah, sometimes we butt heads, even in our happy herd. But I try not to get too attached. Literally, they fall off every year and I grow a new set. How cool is that? God also gave me a unique power to help me communicate with the herd. <clears throat> <clears throat> That's called bugling. It's a little like roaring and whistling at the same time. It keeps my herd close together where we can be safe. Our herd even has scouts. A few elk who stand watch while others graze. 
We have to look out for each other. Do you have friends who look out for you? Friends you like to call out to when you're sad or silly, happy or hurting? Or do you sometimes butt heads with your buddies? Maybe you need the power to forgive and love a friend when you're not getting along. You don't have to do that all by yourself. Jesus gives you his power to help be a good friend. Jesus gave this powerful command in the Bible. Love each other in the same way I have loved you. If you're butting heads with your buddies and not getting along, you can trust Jesus' power and follow his words. Jesus' power helps us be good friends. Trust Jesus! Right there. No, nope, no. Nope. Don't, don't worry. I, I've got it. Yep, yep. You, you just stay right there. Oh, it is so good to see you. Wow, Cam. What is going on? You look pretty steamed up. <laughs> it's almost like you're going off the rails. <laughs> you're not helping. Those train puns, man. You know what? It's a train engineer thing. You would not get it. Oh yeah? Try me. I bet I can track right with you. All right, you've really got to stop with those. I am not <sighs> Wait, one more. I'm listening. In fact, I'm all engineers. Okay, okay, really, I'm listening. Okay, so now that you're listening, there are two people that run our steam locomotive. The train engineer and the fireman. A fireman? Like a guy with a red truck and a Dalmatian? No, 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 no. Not that kind of fireman. A fireman on a train is the person who shovels the coal into the furnace to heat the water, create steam, and get the train to go. Hmm. I'm tracking so far. Anyway, so listen, there is this new fireman on my crew and he is driving me crazy. He never stops talking. Hi, Cam. What's your favorite color? Mine's purple. How old are you? Were you around when the train was invented? Wow, you're old. You want to hear a joke? It's a train joke. What do you call a freight train that's carrying lots of bubble gum? A choo-choo train. Isn't that so funny? Why are trains so fast? Because of their great training. Ha <laughs> ha, get it? Because we work on train. Ma, ma, ma. You don't like me, Cam, do you? Well, I'm going to make you like me. You want more jokes, Cam? I, I just can't. Wait just a minute. You don't sound like you're being a very good friend to this guy. In fact, you're kind of being mean by making fun of him. But you don't understand what it's like to be around someone that is constantly talking when you're trying to work. Right? I think I have a pretty good idea of what that's like. That guy in there. Cam, <laughs> loving others is such an important part of life. Even when it's hard to be a good friend, you can ask Jesus for his help. Jesus' power helps us be good friends. But what if they don't stop talking? Jesus' power helps us be good friends. You can pray about it. Ask Jesus for his strength and his patience. And for the eyes to see your new crew member as Jesus sees him. Maybe he's lonely. Sometimes people that annoy us the most are the ones that need us the most. You know, that's a really good point. We've got a long haul ahead of us for our next journey. So I'm gonna get plenty of time practicing being a good friend. I'm just gonna need Jesus' power. Will you pray for me like, like we talked about before? Of course. We're going to wrap up here and I'll pray with you before you go on your trip. Maybe Jesus will put this, maybe Jesus put this new guy in your life for a reason. So you can show him Jesus' love the way he needs, like no one else. Me? Like the only a job only I can do? That is so cool. Well, you know what? I'm gonna finish getting ready. And then we're gonna go pray. Thanks for being a good friend. You bet, Cam. See you later. Bye. Bye. Welcome.
welcome to Imagination Station. It is our last day together, and we have had so much fun making discoveries with you this week. So today we're discovering that Jesus' power helps us be good friends. But before we get into that, I need to ask you one last time, did you bring your imaginations today? Since it's our last day at Rocky Railway, we need tons of imagination. I was talking to my friend Lawrence the Elk, and he told me something amazing. Did you know that an elk can weigh as much as 730 pounds? <laughs> That's probably as much as all 12, if there were 12 Will and Eli's all put together. So, that got me thinking, how do you power up to carry an, your weight if you weigh 700 pounds up a mountain? So, Lawrence told me that he eats about 20 pounds of vegetation every single day. So, I asked him for some extra imagination vegetation. Here's our imagination vegetation. Now that our imaginations are sprouting, we're ready for our last question. Here we go. How many toes does an elk have on each leg? Do they have two or four? Show me with your fingers, what do you think? Two toes on each leg? or four toes on each leg. Okay, time for the drum roll so we can reveal the amazing answer. Drum roll, please. And the answer is four. Four toes. That's right. Elk have four toes on each leg. Since today is our last day at Imagination Station, it's finally time to make the power bands that we talked about earlier this week. We know that steam trains get their power from either that wood or coal. That's right, wood or coal. So, um, you can use wood power beads or coal power beads and add it onto your bracelet that's in your bag, or you can use both. We get our power from Jesus, and every day this week we discovered something new about Jesus' amazing power. So, you're going to add the cross bead to your band to help you remember that Jesus' power gives us life. So, be sure to put all your power beads on your bracelet. And after you finish making it, you can ask for help if you need to, to tie a knot at the end of the bracelet, and you can wear it on your wrist to always remember our time together here at VBS. And as you work, remember that Jesus' power helps us be good friends. Your power bands look great. Every time you wear your band, remember that Jesus has amazing power and he uses that power to help us. And since we know that Jesus' power helps us be good friends, I'll trust Jesus. You can be a good friend too. Welcome back to the last day of Vacation Bible School here at St. John's Lutheran Church. All week long, we have learned about Jesus' awesome powers. In order to share his power, we just need to trust Jesus. More and more people started to learn about Jesus from the friends. Let's take a look at this poster. Let's pretend that this person right here is you, and you're learning about Jesus. And you know a little bit about Jesus, but the more you tell others about Jesus, the more you learn. So let's say if this is you, 
you tell two people and they learn about Jesus and they tell two more people so now you have six people that you've shared Jesus' story with and they tell two people and they tell two people do you see how this can spread Jesus' love to so many people it can start with you that's the important thing you have to trust Jesus to help you say the things that will bring other friends to know him. Well, let's see what we have done this week. Jesus, in the Bible, has told us, love each other in the same way I have loved you. Say this with me. Love each other in the same way I have loved you. Let's do it again together. John 15, 12. Love each other in the same way I have loved you. Well, Jesus' power helps us be good friends. And Jesus' power helps us tell his story to our friends and they tell it to their friends. Here's this but. But sometimes friends of friends don't get along. That's when Jesus' power helps us be good friends. And by being good friends, you understand that people have differences. And it's okay because Jesus loves everybody. Well, what else have we learned this week? Yesterday, we learned that the Spirit of God who raised Jesus from the dead lives in you, lives in me, lives in all your friends who believe in Jesus. Jesus' power lets us live forever in heaven with Jesus and with God and with all our loved ones that passed on before us. In Isaiah 40, 29, we learn he gives the power to the weak and strength to the powerless, that he is Jesus. Jesus gives power to the weak and strength to the powerless. But we have to be bold enough to share his love with others. Jesus' power helps us to be bold. Then we have Psalms 31, 24. So be strong and courageous, all you who put your hope in the Lord. Paul put his hope in the Lord. He gave hope to all those sailors and all those prisoners and all those guards on the ship that they would be saved, that they wouldn't drown. They would understand that Jesus gave them hope. Then, we also learned Philippians 4.13, For I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. This is my most favorite Bible verse. I wear this Bible verse on the band on my wrist. And whenever I go through something that I think I really need help, I rely on Jesus to help me because Jesus helps us do hard things. The best thing about this is that Jesus helps us and all we have to do is trust him. Well, this is the last time that we're going to be together and I trust you 
that you will remember to trust Jesus and tell others about what you have learned about being a good friend to Jesus. That he gives us power to be good friends, that his power lets us live forever with him in heaven, that Jesus' power helps us to be bold, that Jesus' power gives us hope, and that Jesus' power helps us do all the hard things that are set before us. I trust that you will trust Jesus, and thank you for joining us this week for Vacation Bible School. Welcome back. We're almost finished with our last day of VBS. We're going to review each of our five Bible points and our Bible buddies, starting with Ramsey. Jesus' power helps us do hard things. Trust Jesus. Okay, and then we have Jesus' power gives us hope. Trust, Trust Jesus. Jesus. And Sierra with Jesus power helps us to be bold. Trust, Trust Jesus. Jesus. We have Finn who helps us remember that Jesus' power lets us live forever. Trust, Trust Jesus. And my favorite, Lawrence Elk, who helps us remember that Jesus' power helps us be good friends. Trust, Trust Jesus. Jesus. Let's say a closing prayer. Hold your hands and bow your head with me, please. Dear God, thank you so much for this wonderful week of VBS. Thank you for everyone who worked hard and helped putting together all of the supplies and the stories and the art and the videos. Help us to remember everything that the Bible buddies taught us and help us to share your love and your power with our friends and families and everyone that we meet. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. And now I would like to introduce our special friend, Sarah. Hi everybody, I'm Sarah Hembrick, the Director of Children and Family Ministries here at St. John's, and I just wanted to thank you all so much for tuning in and being a part of VBS with us this year. I know we couldn't be together in person, but it's nice to know we could all be together in spirit while Jesus' power pulled us through this hard time this year. I want to take some time to thank everybody who helped make this possible. Melissa and Alicia and Dawn and Barbara and Ashley and Amanda. We really appreciate all your help and we couldn't have done it without you. So to close out this week, we have one final song called Power Shuffle. And last but not least, a huge giant thank you to Frankie Kulovic for taking all of these videos from this whole week and putting them together and making this possible. So thank you to Frankie. Thank you, Sarah, for everything you have done for BBS. We know it's a lot of work. Thank you so much. I know going virtual this year was really hard, but you did an awesome job. And I know every family here at St. John's really appreciates all the work you put into it. Thanks, Sarah. You're the best. Bye. Bye.
everybody clap your hands. Now stop. I feel it in the air right now. It's all around, I see it everywhere. It's the power. Yeah, yeah, God's power. It's the power to move and it start. It's the power to heal your broken heart. It's the power. Yeah, God's power. So don't hold back, no, don't hold still. God is here and He is real. Take four steps to the left, to the left. One, two, three, four. Turn it around and move to the right. One, two, three. Now take tiny little jumps, four to the front. You better look back. One, two.